Hey, it's Jakari Snayla, and welcome to another episode of the Soap Actor Show with Jakari Snayla, General Hospital Edition. So I'm going to get the recaps for last week after I, which I was supposed to do a review on Brooklyn Chase Brickle, finally. Then, Fifth that and Nicholas uh, Mito will uh, visit Spencer in Pentonville. And that did not go so well. And Spencer, I mean, Nicholas, you is a shit father. You is a shit father. And Brooklyn Chase Burger, finally, and I'm happy they did. I'm glad. I hope they don't put them back together. Knowing these writers, know they will put them back. Then Holly left town. I ha I'm happy for y'all, Robin Holly fans, but I'm just going to be truthful. I know I'm glad Hotly is gone and I ain't gonna miss her at all. So yeah. So getting to the episode, we started the scene out with Joss and Des kiss until something and I said door. Jocelyn, you know you don't like Cameron. Stop saying that you like him and stuff. But you forgot that you have a boyfriend and you're cheating on him with this. No get wrong, they have chemistry, but Jocelyn cheating on Cameron just playing wrong in my opinion. Oh, I do not care about the Jocelyn character. So yeah. Then Sonny asked him who found him. Who found him? And Joss was the one that did. She nursed him back to hell and he said all those things to Sonny. Then something Jocelyn caught an attitude at Sonny when he asked her when he asked her uh, the driver can take home and Jocelyn no she can walk by herself. <laughs> oh my god bro. Just Jocelyn Jocelyn. I don't know gonna be nice about Jocelyn. Jocelyn is a is a witch. She is a witch, witch, witch. So yeah, he, I mean, Sonny literally told uh, Des to stay away from his family. But you and Carly are divorced, and Jocelyn is not your stepdaughter anymore. You can't do nothing about it. But Jocelyn do need to stay away from him because he is working for Sonny, and also your brother too to take Sonny down. So yeah. Then Olivia came to see Robert, and they just talk about Nessa, Dead Holly, and slang to Olivia that she was recovering and stuff, knowing that she out of state trying to find her son. But I really pray they do not hook Olivia with Robert, because I feel like they just going to do that. I have a feeling they're going to do that, so yeah. So, another thing happened on the same scene. Laura came in and goes to see him. Talk about, you, I said, she has found out about Felicia, uh, about Holly and stuff. So, Robert told, Robert showed, uh, Lower the necklace and stuff, and so yeah, they were just talking about about <clears throat> taking Robert down, and all I gotta say is good luck on that. That's all I gotta say. I wish you all good luck on taking me down, I man. Fifter, why y'all can't? I mean, fifter, fifter, fifter. I forget, and my tongue is getting tired again and again. But, who? I'm still trying to warm up, reverse sauce and stuff. But, who? I'm going to get hang up. So, yeah. But, moving on, moving on, moving on. We see Laura Mac. We see Laura, Mac, and Holly, and Fel Felicia. <laughs> Laura, Mac, 
and Felicia at Metrocore talking about Holly and stuff. Darcy fighting Rostein and asked them about Victor, Dan, um, Ethan, which is missing. He always stays missing out swing like bring Ethan back and stop letting him go missing every time somebody do something to him. So they just talk about trying to look for him and stuff. And then Vatine had a conversation with Felicia and asked her, do you know where Anna said? And they were also talking a bit like Lucy. She got shot by a rubber bullet. We had to find out she got shot by the rubber bullet on the episode. So, at the end, Felicia gave him a paper of the person, gave him the information about the person. So, Bad Team ripped all this off, and Felicia said, I really hope that she find Emma. So, yeah. And then we see Brick Austin at the hospital. And they just talking about New Year's Eve and birthdays. I think, uh... Brie said her birthday is on New Year's Eve, right? Uh, if I'm getting it wrong, please let me know in the comments. And if I'm missing anything, please let me know in the comments down below. So they're just talking about this day, and then Cody pops in and asks her what birthday party. So Brie snaps on him and stuff. Um. This Cody character is so useless, and he go. I'm tired. I'm really tired of these newbies on Jace right now. They is really irking my nerves. They Cody can't go for all I care. Okay, he can go. Then Britt and Austin continue their conversation at her office. So they discuss about the same thing and stuff. But I'm not gonna lie, Britt and Austin does has chemistry and Roger how you deserve better on the show. I know Frank Fat Team won't keep his one like to live piss on the show, but I just feel like these one like to live characters like hogging over Jay's no offense but Jay's has to be the same since two thousand twelve when the one like to live characters came in Port Charles. Even though I kind of did not mind Star, but the rest is just basically just pretty much. Then Cody talks to Matt about who his father is at the Metro Corps. So, yeah, I really did not care about this thing. Then they say, then Michael Rillo discussing about her cancer, the baby, and Sonny. She tried to like tell him that you need to stop going to get Sonny. And I can't when I when I look at the scene, I really can't say nothing about this, but that's Michael. He he do what he wanna do. But I overall I do not care about them couples and stuff. And then later on, Drew came in and tell her they have he has like some info about her real parents. But I'm um, just ready for this storm to be over it because I can't wait to see the look on Nina's face because I do not care about Nina's character in or anything. So yeah. So Michael talks to Des about taking down Sonny and stuff. Which another scenes I do not care about. So yeah, and then prior to all of this, Carly and Drew was talking about Harmony and Wes's uh, Nina at the at the house. So yeah, okay, but I'm just so through all these storylines. Like Jay, get better. That's all I gotta say is get better. And Carly and Drew is a very useless couple. And now, nowadays, Jace don't have the good couples anymore. There's no Jace Sam, there's nothing. But Seth Sprino, which is like a potential couple, 
I hope they get that right because it's been too long. Y'all been dragging, dragging these couple, this couple for too long. I want my Springer. That's all I gotta say. I want my Springer. And then Jocelyn walks in and they just talk about this thing. So yeah. And at the end of the episode, Carly uh, calls Olivia and saying that she looking for a woman named Denise McKenzie tells her to notify her when, he sh when she checks in at the metro court. What, what does Carly got in her sleeves? So yeah. So that is pretty much it that happened on uh, yesterday's episode General Hospital December 6, 2022. So yeah. Please follow me on my Twitter at days underscore stand nine nine and Jenny step nine nine. So yeah, and thank you for watching this ep <laughs> another episode of the Soap at the Show with Charles Naylor General Hospital Edition, and I see you again late night where I discuss about the episode. So hope you have like a wonderful night, morning and evening. So yeah. And see ya and bye.